Hi there, Matt Allington here. And in my short video today, I'm going to explain a technique for you so that you can understand a little bit better what is going on inside some of your measures. Now, this is actually a real world problem where a client came to me and asked me for some help. He'd written this measure that you can see on the screen here, and there were some performance issues with the measure. And so when I first looked at this measure, I thought, OK, it looks pretty clean. Um, it's doing a few interesting things. In actual fact, what it's doing is not relevant for this video today. But what it's doing is it's creating a few variables. So you can see there's one, two, three variables here, which are being called inside an if statement. And also there are a number of dependent measures. So measures that have been created and stored inside the model. And then those measures are used inside this measure to come up with the final result. So on the face of it, this looks like um, a pretty nice looking formula. And so the question is, why is this measure performing poorly? Now, this is confidential data, so I'm not actually going to go in and show you the details of this. But one technique you could do, and one technique that I often do myself, is to build a visual bringing in something relevant. So maybe it's a matrix and bring in some products and bring this measure into the matrix and have a look at what results are being returned. And then next step is to then go in and bring all of the dependent measures into the visual as well so you can see what they're up to. Now in this case, I did that and I got to a stage where I still really couldn't get a good understanding of what was going on. So what I decided to do was to explode this formula into the component parts. So to do that, I used an external tool. I used Tabular Editor 3. So this is not possible in the free edition of Tabular Editor. It's only possible in the paid premium edition. This is about $100 a year for a personal use license. It's fantastic value. I would highly recommend it. If I come here into Tabular Editor 3, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a copy of this measure and then I'm going to explode that measure so that I can see what's going on. Okay, so here's Tabular Editor 3. I'll just go into full screen mode. And the first thing I'll do is to find that measure and I'm going to take a copy. And here is the formula that I want to copy. So in order to duplicate this, I'm just going to Control C, Control V, and that state made a copy and then I'm going to rename this copy version two. So now that I have a copy of this measure, I'm going to explode all of the input measures so that I can see exactly what's going on. So I just come up here, find the measure, right click, and then I can select inline measure. And what that does is it takes the measure that was written on the screen and it replaces it with the code that was used to generate that measure. And so once I do this, I can actually step through every measure one at a time and explode that measure into the underlying formula that makes up that measure. So let me go ahead and do that now. And last to now I'll finally format it. And there we have all of the dependent measures have now been exploded. And if I scroll down through the formula, you will see that the full version of this formula is actually 407 rows long. And so the point I'm trying to make here is that even though the measure that I showed you looks pretty straightforward, because of the complexity of all the underlying measures, the formula that's been written here is extremely, extremely complex. And there's lots of row context and iterations going on. And you will never solve that problem looking at the formula the way it was. Indeed, you would never even realize what the problem was with the formula written that way. Now, with this particular client, I was able to take this measure, analyze the exploded version of the measure, understand what it was doing and rewrite the formula so that there was a single iteration in a row context through the formula and we were able to take it from orders of magnitude about a minute to refresh the visual down to something more like um, under a second or orders of magnitude. So there you have it. 
That's how you explode inline measures using Tabular Editor 3.